What's going on, guys? It's Cole, and welcome to GPS Season 10, Week 7. So this week, we go up against Juan and the New York Mankeys. So this is recording number two, because apparently, on my other scene for OBS, I didn't have my microphone active. So this is actually after the battle. But anyway, let's take a look at his team. So for his S tier, he has Arcanine. For his A tier, he has Iron Valiant. For his B tiers, he has Breloom, Blissey, and Slowking. And for his C tiers, he has Ampharos, Cyclozar, Copperaja, and Toxicroak. So now, let's take a look at our team. But first, the team I expect him to bring is Arcanine, Iron Valiant, Breloom, Blissey, Copperaja, and Toxicroak. So let's take a look at our team, because we have some new members. So first, you can see there's a few. So let's start with Poltergeist. So we dropped ne uh, Kamala last week and picked a Poltergeist, but I wasn't planning on using it last week. I planned on using it this week. And then for our, we dropped Lycanroc Midday, we picked up Gastrodon, we dropped one Road Tom and picked up another. And then we dropped Vaporeon and picked up Houndstone. So let's get into the battle. But the team we're bringing is Garchomp, Ro not Rotom, Houndstone, Toadscroll, Knacklestack, Bombardier, and Poltergeist. So now let's get into the battle. Alright, so we see that he actually brought Slowking and Cyclozar instead of Blissey and Copperaja. But that's fine. So, alright, so Bombardier still has the Choice Band, and it's still Terra Water from last week. Poltergeist has the Focus Sash. And it is Terra Fighting. Land Jelly is our fully defensive, so max defense, max HP with Rage Powder, Spore, Trick Room, and Earth Power. Garchomp, Volo, is the same as last week, but I at least gave it a nickname this time. Uh, Nagelstack, not Minecraft, obviously has the Eviolite, Body Press, uh, Recover, Iron Defense, and Salt Cure. And Thick Doggo, Houndstone, has Fluffy for an ability, and it's got Ally Switch, not, uh, Will-O-Wisp, Last Respects, and Body Press. Oh, and Poltergeist has Shell Smash, Shadow Ball, Stored Power, and Strength Sap. So let's get into the battle. Alright, so he leads off with his Arcanine and Iron Valiant as we lead off with Poltergeist and Toad Scroll. Arcanine's Intimidate doesn't matter, and I was really hoping it wasn't Speed Quark Drive, but it was, because with one Shell Smash, we would outspeed it, but now with it being a speed boost in Quark Drive, we need two Shell, sm sm bleh, two shell Smashes to outspeed Valiant. So, I just go for the obvious play, Shell Smash and Rage Powder. So Valiant protects, we get off our Rage Powder, we get off our Shell Smash, which means he definitely has the defensive Arcanine, and we... From here, we can see Arcanine has the safety goggles, which I'll talk about in game two. So we live on 11 HP. So 
So here I decide to terastalize and strength sap. I was gonna strength sap Arcanine, but I figured with it being the bulky variant, it's not going to have much in the way of attack probably, so we so I decided to strength sap Valiant instead. Drastalize, Strength Sap, Or did I... Oh no, I decided to Strength Sap Arcanine, never mind. So we Terra Fighting. We Rage Powder. Okay, so he, he was a mixed set. I honestly didn't remember that he had used Moonblast. So that switches Valiant out into Toxicroak. As we Strength Sap the Arcanine. So now we'll definitely live, even though we're at minus two. Because now we resist. But instead he just Flare Blitzes top Land Jelly. So that was a good turn for me. So now we stored power of the Toxicroak. And I decide to just Earth Power Arcanine. E-speed still doesn't kill. So, so Poltergeist gets its first kill. It then sends Iron Valiant back out, but now we definitely outspeed. So I decide to switch out into Houndstone to preserve Toad Scroll. And also because I figured he'd want to go for extreme speed again. Shadow Ball will kill the Iron Valiant, getting Poltergeist a second kill. And then sends out Brello. So I go for the ally switch. Sword power knocks Brelum down to Sash. And Spore goes into Houndstone. And Crunch goes into Poltergeist, getting a crit. Dropping my defense, but also proccing Cursed Body.
So he never goes for the mock punch, which makes me think he doesn't have it. Let me find out. And there's that Fluffy coming into place. Barely taking any damage from that Bullet Seed. And with a final Shadow Ball, Poltegeist completes the sweep, and we win game one with four with all of our Pokemon remaining. So I'll see you guys in game two. Alright, so in game two, we are going to be leaving Poltegeist on the bench, and we're going to be bringing not Minecraft in to set up some iron defenses and hope that it works. So yeah, so we will be leading off with Minecraft, not Minecraft, and Land Jelly with Houndstone and Garchomp in the back. So he leads off with Slowking and Arcanine. here I totally forget that Arcanine has the, the safety goggles so I click Spore into Arcanine and we Terra Water with Minecraft but wait you'll see But then I'm like, oh wait, my red card might activate. So I'm like, please, anything but Breloom. Again, forgetting that Arcanine had the safety goggles, so even if it hadn't attacked me, the spore would have failed. Slow King protects. Arcanine Flare Blitzes. Into Land Jelly. So yeah, this was when I was like, okay, anything but Breloom, please. Anything but Breloom. Because I figured if he brought Bre he probably would have, like, Breloom and Valiant in the back or something. So, yep, Iron Valiant goes to sleep. Boosting its speed. So we'd raise our defense by two, and Valiant goes to sleep. So I figure, you know what? <laughs> Let's go for Trick Room. Because why not? The only thing I won't be out speeding is Slow King anyway, so, with Minecraft, so I figured, hey, why not? Why not just go for it? Because obviously we know my not Minecraft out speeds. Slow King hits a psychic. We live on 14. And we get the trick room off. So I'm like, eh. 
Toad, Toad Scroll's kind of done its job. So I just wanted to check the speed. So I'm like, yeah, Toad Scroll's kind of done its job, so I can just click something. So we go for slow, Salt Cure into Slow King. And Slow King will kill Toad Scroll with the Psychic. Which I was like, ah, that's fine. Like I said, Toad Squirrel had done its job. So we get Salt Cure off. Which is like nothing, because, you know, I have no attack investment and we're minus one. So then I send out the trusty doggo. Houndstone. So he withdraws Slow King. And sends out Breloom as Body Press does decent damage to Valiant. And Last Respects does very good damage to Valiant. Who sleeps? So we go for the Will O Wisp into Breloom. And I almost clicked recover, but I'm like, wait, we're in Trick Room. So let's just go for a body press. He swaps Valiant out into Arcanine. Arcanine's Intimidate will drop Knuckle Stack's attack again, but that doesn't affect body press, which does massive damage as it gets burned, which means this incoming bullet sleeve will literally do like almost zero damage. Bullet Seed does nine damage. And then another nine. And then another nine for 27 damage. So I almost went for the ally switch, but I'm like, ah, I can just kill this thing. So we'll go for the Salt Cure into Arcanine. Body Press will kill Breloom with a very unnecessary crit, leaving a Sleeping Iron Valiant and Arcanine left. Oh wait, no, I forgot, he had Slow King as well. Salt Cure does okay damage, but Trick Room does end. And then send Slow King back out. Slow King protects, which is good because I doubled into Arcanine. Arcanine's Crunch does very little damage, but does drop our defense. Thick Doggo's Last Respects does a small amount, as Body Press will kill Arcanine. So Knacklestack gets his first kill of the match. So now it's Poundstone, Nagglestack, and Garchomp versus Slowking and Valiant, who is still sleeping, but is in very low health. So 
Valiant finally wakes up. And hits a Leaf Blade for like 20 damage. Actually, let me jump back. I honestly want to see. Yeah, that literally did 20 damage. But anyway, Blast Effects will do small damage to the Slow King. As Valiant dies to Body Press. So the Natural Stack gets its second kill of the match, leaving Slow King versus my other three. And so far, Garchomp, my S tier, has yet to hit the field. So I go for Assault Cure on Slow King, because it can't go anywhere. Last Respects does some damage. Salt Cure does very little. Surf does decent damage to Houndstone. We go for Will O Wisp, Empty Slow King, and Body press. So Slow King will die to the burn. Which means we win game three with three remaining. As Houndstone gets its second kill, and Knacklestack had two KOs as well. So good game one. Sorry about that, but I really needed this win. So next week we go up against Couch Pilot Calvin and the Scot the S Scotland Stouts. So I will see you guys next week. Later.